Okay, good afternoon, Crafter Cream. I'm undergoing now the floor repair. So you would have seen in a previous video that I found uh, that Ratty had gone into the floor pan. Um, so that was, yeah, I was just going to clean it up and put some uh, sound deadening over the top of it. And I was met with this so that, that yeah. I then bought a floor pan, relatively cheap, in, and it was profiled obviously with the uh, thing. So I cut this out of the floor, and then I made a template, and then I cut the template out of the floor, which you see down here. So I can use the other bits for, I'm sure, other bits and pieces. So anyway, I cut that out of there, and I'll go up to the top shed now because I have spent now several hours getting this panel which was the copy of this to fit in the floor so I've been practicing with my welder please don't judge me I won't yeah first so what happened here was I was gonna do with the flux cord and uh, I had to do another job on a manifold and I went to the guy and I said how much to weld the AFR fitting into the exhaust and he wanted like 180 bucks to do that so a gas of a bottle of argon was like 300 bucks so I decided to buy a bottle of argon and go with the full MIG on the the welding machine which I bought as a bit of a retirement gift so anyway I've been practicing with that so I'm practicing with the voltage, wire rates and things to try and get that right. So anyway, I'll go up to the top shed now. So here we are, top shed. I've now fitted the, the bit that I made. So obviously with the template, I cut it out slightly bigger so that I was grinding it. So I've been using this tool here, which was virtually useless for cutting the floor out. So I used Big Bertha here to cut it out. But because I used that one to cut it out, down here I was a bit restricted and as you might be able to see I've got on a bit of a curve and I've got a few bits and pieces going on. So anyway, I'll tack this in now and hopefully tomorrow if you get a if I get it all successfully tacked in and welded, I'll uh, take some pictures of it when it's finished. But Having the profile right with the floor sort of fits, makes it look better, I suppose. And then if I've got anything underneath, then I'll practice some overhead welding underneath when I've finished this. You can see there's one patch has been welded on here already. And yeah, another one, another bigger one here, which I didn't see, but then I didn't really fancy cutting the whole floor pan out because that would be a bit of a major undertaking considering I only was planning on taking the engine out and fitting a supercharger now I'm in for a rewire and I've found holes and oh my goodness there's a couple of people who've you know I, I've watched their videos and uh, I just was going to do this and I ended up doing this 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 and this how can I however I can relate to that so anyway that's where I'm up to now so we'll give it a bit of a well tomorrow and see how it goes so with a little bit of grinding and a little bit of fettling here and there it's in some ways underneath looks better than on top but anyway <coughs> I did cut a little bit of the inner sill away here which I had to then see <coughs> seal that up a bit more cleaning up to do with the grinder and then yeah a bit of paint and that'll level all out of there. All right. So, got to practice overhead welding as well. So, there you go. I'm pretty impressed with that, even though I say it myself, because it is only my first time welding. So, there we go. I hope you like it. So there we <laughs> go. I put some primer on it now or rust converter and going to put a bit of a top coat on that and then I'm going to put my sound deadening over the top of it so I've checked underneath and painted underneath with some underbody black that'll never fall out 
the rest of the car will fall out before that does. And it's my first bit of welding, so I did it. And I think that's all that matters when you do something yourself. I'm happy with it, it won't fall out. And I got better towards the end, so uh, it's all about, I had a bit of a practice and I watched a lot of YouTube videos and all very good instructional stuff about how to do this. And it was all good information. Some people have like, they do four spots at a time. Others do like one spot at a time, tack things in and then grind it and bash the paint in and then bash it in and then paint, fill it. Well, this is a floor pan, right? So it's not super visible. So not that that's any excuse to do a worse job, but I'm happy with that myself. So there you go. Thank you very much indeed for subscribing and for watching. And I hope you get something out of this. It appears that the, the comments that I'm getting, that people are getting stuff out of it. So that's all that matters to me as well, right? Making people happy and giving them an idea of that, they, that you know, just the average Joe Blow can do some stuff like this. So there you go. Have a nice weekend. Bye for now.